It is a mad eight months in the making. Back in our 17th anniversary, for a moment, just a fleeting moment in time, was recognized as the IWC Women's Champion. The decision was called back upon evidence of some, let's say, less than ethical activities. Let's look at Calvin, let's look at Mandar, not to make accusations, just to kind of read between the lines. But Katie has defeated opponent after opponent after opponent. Since then, called out Britt Baker for a number of months. Britt finally answered the challenge. Will Katie have her moment? Or is the mayor of Bricksburg still in office? <laughs> Dr. Britt Baker, DMD has been all over the world, from Ring of Honor's Women of Honor, to NXT, to the all-in event in Chicago, the largest independent wrestling event in history. Brit's been making the round, and in her absence, Katie Arquette has cried foul. Katie feels Brit should be here defending the IWC Women's title. Where do you stand on that uh, cause, Jay Worth? Well, now, let's be fair here. Katie Arquette has been here month after month, defeating opponent after opponent. These have not just been hollow words calling out a champion. Katie Arquette has shown time and time again she's worthy of the title shot, and Britt Baker has been the one to not be here for it. You can say what you want about Britt Baker in that title, but Katie Arquette is not wrong. body language from both competitors? Um, I would say my comment is Katie Arquette looks like she has been stepping on the gas and the brake for eight months and is ready to take her foot off the brake. I'm a bit surprised, the reason I mentioned that, Jay Worth, Britt almost with a lax body language. Katie is very focused and determined to Britt, this may be just another day at the office, but Britt may not realize how much Katie has grown as a competitor since she was last in this building. Which, again, she should be paying attention. The Katie Arquette of eight months ago is not the Katie she is wrestling right now. And she would know that had she been here for any of the times that Katie Arquette was wrestling someone other than her. I think you see a pie face from Katie. Not much respect from the queen of the silver screen towards Britt Baker, Arquette feels that Baker has been an embarrassment to the IWC Women's Championship. I wouldn't go that far in the least, but we'll see if Katie can etch her name into history books officially. That title reign earlier this year was never officially recognized. The decision was called back, but you gotta believe if she can find her way past Britt today, um, that it could usher in, could usher in a new era for IWC Women's Wrestling. Oh! 
And Katie has been quicker to the draw. And Katie mocking Britt Baker there. Yeah. If Britt wasn't taking this seriously, I think Katie's going to make Britt take this seriously. You still beat her until she does. It is a chaotic atmosphere. The entourage is cheering very vociferously for Katie. I hear some from the fans as well. Britt has always been beloved here in IWC. A very polarizing atmosphere. I mean, we are in Britsburg. Her fan base is, and this might be the strongest fan base she has at this moment. I would agree with that. Baker with the chancery. And forcing Katie back to the, uh, back into the corner. You know, you look at the two, I don't know that you would give, oh, there we go. And Baker with a bit of an offensive flurry. And is that Katie getting under Baker's skin? Is she manipulating Baker's temper backslide here? She can only. I would say so. That's not, we haven't seen Britt act like that before. Could Katie push Britt over her edge? We'll see. Baker back to the neck breaker. Fluidly done. Baker on top for two. And I feel it's also worth noting on almost the contrapositive to my point that while Brett hasn't been here facing Katie Arquette and seeing what's been going on, she has been out in the world sharpening her game, as you've mentioned. Britt changes directions and caught Katie right to sternum. Baker now into the cover. No, going to roll her away from the ropes. Get two. And you saw Arquette clutching her chest like she was trying to, having some trouble breathing after yeah. that kick. That was a... a a just a hard flush shot right to the stern. And you crack a stern, you got breathing problems. You don't even need to crack it. You bruise it. You just, you, know, you irritate it and you have breathing problems. What is going through the mind of Calvin and Mand? Oh, God. If it wasn't personal before, it is now. Now, we got receipts of plenty in this match. An elbow, uh, an elbow, and now more elbows. And Katie just sends Britt to the outside. Watch out for Calvin. Watch for Calvin. As if you could miss him dressed like that. Jeez. Oh. And now Calvin, come on. Come on, referee. Do something. Ouch. There went Calvin. And Calvin slumped into the corner on our... Into our uh, security staff. Oh! I think Britt may have created a new uh, dental client for herself. Katie drops down with a modified stunner. Britt's lifeless here. New champion? No. She was hung up with that stunner. All the impact going to the jaw on that one. Yeah, the jaw, maybe the throat as well, as Katie, or rather, Britt is favoring that part of the body as Katie continues to press the advantage. And there we go. A choke. And as the crowd reminds referee CJ Sensation, she has a five count. Calvin acknowledges that while still counting his molars. And it's Katie the aggressor stunting any momentum that Dr. Baker was looking to build. And Mandine, uh, appreciating the fans' helpful advice to uh, to our referee. Well, if Mandine's happy, that's all that matters. <laughs> Hard leg drop. Not a very tight cover by Katie. No, I will say, though, she was trying to get the leg. It's just she didn't get a good grip on it. Didn't get it pulled over in time. Much like the Antonio Brown. <laughs> Suplex. Pulled over. I, I got you. You follow that one. I picked up what you're laying down. Digging my ditch. And Baker trying to fight from underneath here. Just get back to that vertical base. She does so. And both athletes have been coming through with a, a very, very physical match. Most physical I can remember the IWC Women's Division being since Lufisto was here. I, I was going to say, neither competitor has really looked to... To give a give a 
clinic in wrestling. They're just looking to beat up the other, almost as if the title is secondary. Betty charging with the hip. Well, I think the title is primary, but I think the way they win it is what's at the forefront of their mind because it's not just, what, there's a cover in the ring. It's not just out wrestling the opponent. Katie takes it personally and that she feels Britt's been ducking her. Britt takes it personally that Katie has smeared her reputation. I, mean, I, I agree. I just think that if, they, if you told them, well, the title's not on the line, they would still be fighting each other like this. Oh, 100%. 100%. And they would, and they would continue fighting until there was a conclusive champion. And these again, we talked about it early with uh, Bulk and Vegas. These are two athletes that will probably never get along, never share lunch together, and never get together to reminisce about old times. No, this is a, this is a, a rivalry for life, and then some. And that's, I mean, that's at the heart of what this business is. It's it's mono a mono. And Baker trying to to hang on to the rope to prevent the whip of Katie. And Baker connects. And another elbow just straight to the jaw. Yeah. Those movie star good looks being compromised. And you can hear the impact of each of those all the way up here. Katie may need some heavy makeup for her next scene to cover Dr. Baker's bruising. Take my take down. Almost a shoulder tackle there. Baker trying to string some offense together. Calvin got it again. Knee strike to Katie back to that sternum area by Baker. Sling blade takedown. Could this do it? Still a champion? No. If Britt Baker is victorious tonight, Jay Worth, will that silence Katie Arquette? I don't know that anything's going to silence Katie Arquette. Let's be honest, Joe. But I think it. I think Katie would have to almost acknowledge that she had her opportunity at least. And if she doesn't cap. Oh! Open wide. Dr. Baker in service. Nope. Fisherman's countered. Got the cutter. Count it. One. Baker's going to do it. No. Let's go to the mind of Calvin. Um, probably thinking that his uh, his paycheck may be, be severely cut if if Katie Arquette doesn't capitalize here. And how's he going to afford all of that bronzer? Calvin and Mando, a meal ticket on the line. Katie with a full Nelson, didn't have the fingers locked. Oh. And up oh. and down. Katie, the spine buster. Two only. Just flung her to the canvas, almost Ron Simmons-esque. And Katie losing her temper at the moment. I don't know that that's what we want to have happen. Well, I, I think both these athletes, uh, their temper got the better of them before the opening bell even rang. I think Arquette needs to stay focused. This is the, an, an opportunity eight months in the making. Crowd getting behind Britt Baker now. And Katie doing so literally, attempting a uh, gut wrench. Standing side switch by Baker. Pump handle? Rip cord into a pump handle. Up. Oh! Gee. Again, dropping Katie on that face. Not an accident. And that, that rings a Saturn. No, nope. Katie rolls over into the rope. And Man Diamond Calvin, the salvation into the waiting arms, goes Katie Arquette. Hollywood Couture there to make sure. She, oh, timeout, timeout. That Calvin is, is calling for a timeout. I could give a damn less what Calvin calls for. Calvin is uncalled for in general. She's fine. Katie wants five minutes? Are you kidding me? Oh, Britt from behind. Oh, Katie. Able to hang Britt up along that jaw once again. And Katie, a oh! second burst of adrenaline. Got that. Sherbet suplex. Popped those hips. Yeah. Caught her perfect and just drove her down. Ooh. Nicely done, Falcon, Falcon arrow. arrow. Got her no. I thought that was it. So did Calvin and Mandon. CJ hit two and Britt Baker hadn't moved a, a centimeter. 
It was a game of inches, maybe centimeters, as far as Baker's kick out. And Katie is now measuring the champion. Oh, the super kick! She learned from the best! Ripcord elbow! Oh, got that twisting fisherman buster! Katie dropped on her head! And Katie is oh. out! Britt transitions into that rings of Saturn! Katie's nowhere near a rope! Taylor's man done! Elijah Dean up and Britt Baker lets it go! Oh! Mandon got dropped! And Katie! Katie Aurora has the trunks. No! Run. And the matchup presses on. And Kelvin. Kelvin is taunting Britt with that women's championship. And Kelvin gets popped again. High faced off the ring. Good grief. But, and Katie is near that champ. I'm having flashbacks to 17. Kelvin is drags and Katie with championship. Brick just That's got it. knocked out. Kelvin. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! It worked eight months ago, but not enough here tonight. Kelvin and Man time beside themselves. Right. And they're gone. I love it! Don't try to swing a chair, Calvin. Just get out of here! It was more like a toss, a frustrated toss. They've overstayed their welcome anyway. And now it's just Baker and Arquette. Like it should have been from day one. And Katie's beside herself. Katie's backup plan's out of here. And Fritz to her feet. Look out, no! Brett aiming for Katie, and the official gets wiped out. And CJ down, not expecting a pop to the mush like that. Wait a minute! That's David Arquette! Cousin David's in the ring! Katie's cousin! Wait a minute! David Arquette's got a referee shirt! It has the, uh, P the PA... Seal on it. Oh, and Britt oh. doesn't believe what she saw. Full Nelson slam. We got two Arquettes oh. in the ring. Katie Arquette the spear. spear. David counts. No. That's two. And David. That was a fair count. David apologizing to his cousin. David, say what you want about his history. He respects this business. He respects a title being won and lost in the ring. And Katie can't believe it. For the first time, both our cats are together, and it's an IWC oh, for Pittsburgh. Oh. And Brett the Rings of Saturn. If Katie taps out, David will have no choice but to call it. And she rolls her over. What Katie taps but shoulders. Two count only. Oh, oh Katie! And Katie has, has Brits rings of Saturn! It's locked in! You gotta be kidding me! Now Brit jumps Katie's shoulders only for Oh, her. she rolls it through! Katie's got her trapped! She has her legs up there! She tapped! She tapped! Baker 
Arcade has come to an end. The office is closed. Katie Arquette, near in tears. Calvin and Van Dyne, the entourage, cheering on. Rick Baker walks away defeated. Katie Arquette finally takes center stage and has the pageantry and celebration of the leading lady she wanted to be. And Cousin David is letting her borrow the fur and look at the smile on her face. It's a new era for IWC Women's Wrestling. Wrestling. Now the title has left Pittsburgh and made its way to Hollywood.